Good night, ladies and gentlemen. This is old Chef Brent Thomas, and you're watching Cool with Brent. Tonight, t -t 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 tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you my story about the life and death of my father, Andrew Meredith Thomas. On May 12, 2012, it started like any other day. It was a Mother's Day weekend. It was a Saturday. I was home from school. This is my story. One true story to tell you, okay? It's starting any other day. I, I completed my homework assignment the day before. So for the weekend, we just me and my family was prepping for Mother's Day dinner tomorrow, which was May 13, 2012. That was on a Sunday. And then, while I was home, just chilling out, I got a phone call from my dad's friend of mine answering saying that that your husband has a stricken with a massive heart attack. We were all shocked about it. And then we start I, we start praying right away. Then me, my mom, my brother hopped in my brother's car and then we drove down to Inter <clears throat> to Interfaith Medical Center in Brooklyn. So while I was in the car, while I was in the route, I was praying. Praying, praying, praying. Praying for him to make it. And everything then. By the time we got there, we just stayed. We told him what happened. We went to the hospital. We told him who we were. And then they had to take us to the waiting room while my dad was in the operating room being operated on. And then we waited and waited. And at 7.44 p.m. on May 12, 2012, I came in and delivered the terrible news to us that I'm just hate to tell you this, Miss Thomas, your husband's dead. And then that made me realize my dad had died. And then it hit me hard. I cried. I fell on the floor like a ton of bricks and I just cried. It was a tough way to the father like that. Because hours before, I talked to my dad. Saying that I'll be on Mother's Day dinner tomorrow. Okay, Dad? We'll talk. I'll see you tomorrow. And we'll talk soon, okay? And I said, okay, Brent. Take care. I'll see you tomorrow. I never thought these were, I never thought that phone call with my dad was gonna be the last. But me and my friend went from mourning because I was crying so hard because all my friends were shocked and I could this to my family and everything. Next day, Mother's Day, my mom cried. We all cried, then we all ate Mother's Day dinner in silence, okay? But this video, t this tonight's video, I'm telling you about my dad's passing to May 12th. Makes about 10 years, okay? So, it, for the next couple of days, it was a lot of grief, a lot of mourning. It was just tough for a while, during the last for the next couple of days. My brother has to go to work. I have to go to school. And all my friends showed their support and gave me condolences that, that's, and everything. So, I'm in the school on May 14th and the 15th. That May 15th, I just cried that they would just stay home and prep for my dad's funeral and everything. So, the, so on Sunday was this viewing at Empire Funeral Home. I saw my dad's body, and my mom just cried emotionally because when I lost my dad, it affected me to its core. Personally, physically, mentally and emotionally. Then the next day was his funeral. We just said our final goodbyes to one another and pay my respects to my dad. Cause I see so much people knew my father. And then, and then I gave him a eulogy at my dad's funeral. I wish I had a video to show you or I wish I had a video of me saying what I said. When my dad died, a part of me had died. And me and my dad were great friends. We got along great. My dad pushed me and Sean to be our best. And so much great memories we had together. Me and my dad talked about a lot of sports teams. We talked about MLB, NFL, NBA, MLS, all, all racing, such as NASCAR, IndyCar, IMSA, and Formula One. So my dad took me to a lot of great events, taught me how to cook and everything. He taught me how to skateboard and ride a bike. We went fishing together. 
And I said at a eulogy, I said, Dad, I know you're up in heaven looking down on me. May your soul rest in peace until we meet again. That's all I got to say. So, here and here and I look back at 10 years later, to me, it was like yesterday. I learned how to stay strong This is his anniversary. I stay strong because my dad will forever be in my heart and everybody's hearts forever. Real talk, one, two, three. I love you, Dad. Until we meet again, shut right out. I'll see you tomorrow night on a new episode of Cooking with Brent.